All right, I'm here with Mike Lloyd from the Ohio State University Extension, and uh, Mike, you're located in Noble County, is that right? Correct. Right. Okay, you have uh, seen uh, some of the um, Marcellus Utica Shale development uh, happen. What are some things that farmers and rural landowners should consider uh, when dealing with uh, requests for mineral rights and those sorts of things? One of the things I guess to consider very early in the game is do you even own the mineral rights? For a lot of these people, it's the first time they've ever been approached with that question because when they bought the land, the last thing they were thinking of was do I own the mineral rights? I want to farm, I want to recreate whatever I bought the, uh, the land for. Uh, many of these properties have had the mineral rights sold off from them 30, 50, 100 years ago. So you may not even own the mineral rights. You may sign a lease with someone, uh, which is not uncommon. They will sign the lease, only then will they go and research to see whether you actually own the, those uh, mineral rights or not. They may come back to you and say, sorry, whatever we agreed upon is null and void because you do not own those rights. Okay. And uh, you talked a little bit about what's happening over in Southeast Ohio uh, regarding the, uh, the market. It's my understanding that a standard uh, lease might call for a one-eighth royalty, which is probably about that 12%. Well, Twelve and a half. Yeah, what what are you seeing uh, right now in the market uh, in your part of the state? That that remains the floor. That's always been the traditional. Uh, the highest have run about 20 percent. So somewhere between 12 and a half and 20 percent tends to be the current range. That's subject to negotiation and change, though. And that's that's a sign of the boom, really. Certainly, and that's a sign that there's perhaps so much wealth there that they're willing to share a higher percent of it because there's. The, you would think the oil and gas firms still plan on making money out of the deal or they wouldn't be offering the, the higher leases. Another thing we're beginning to see in the region uh, is the consolidation of the business. When this started, uh, you had very few what you would call wildcatters because that single well could easily cost a million dollars to drill. So they were established companies, but they were maybe small established companies. Uh, last week, Marquette Exploration sold its uh, holdings in Belmont and Jefferson and Harrison County to Hess. So you're seeing the internationals, ExxonMobil, uh, Chevron, Hess, and Chesapeake beginning to consolidate the smaller uh, companies and the land holdings. It makes it more efficient for them. And uh, finally, in uh, have, have you had enough experience even looking across the river into West Virginia or Pennsylvania to talk a little bit about some of the economic um, development impacts that uh, that a gas boom, I guess, has had in this part of the country? Well, we did take a tour into Greene County, uh, Pennsylvania, which is the most southwest county in the state, and met with their county commissioners. Uh, they were pointing out things that we hadn't considered. Uh, not all of them even positive, uh, but their their laundromats were now you know booming. Uh, the housing market had changed. Restaurants, uh, Walmart, you know, all your traditional retailers were tending to, to benefit. One of the negatives that was, though, was uh, for the first time in their careers they were seeing housing, uh, seeing homelessness. And that is because the lower end housing that went fairly cheap, now you can double the rates, attract oil field workers, so the folks that were staying in there have nowhere to go because there's no substitute housing in some of these rural counties. So there are unexpected issues that do come up, uh, but at least in Greene County, Pennsylvania, the commissioner certainly said, you know, overwhelmingly it's been a positive. Yes, there are issues, but we work with them and we deal with them. Thank you so much, Mike. Sure, thank you.